Friday this afternoon, I believe, and uh, will be hospitalised next week for a heart operation. Roy, all the very best from the Double Hour guest video team, and uh, we hope that you have a speedy recovery and look forward to your accompany this afternoon. We certainly do. Just noticing uh, Wally Kanolowitz, the former... Uh, Anglesey Premiership Cake put him pointing his finger at me and saying, you're here. And good to see Wally. He gets around a lot of the local footy, Ron. Yes, Johnny Tatnall uh, raises the ball to commence the first quarter here. Round five uh, GDFL match of the day. It's the big fist away from the Ruckman in there. And Mark Bernardo gets it down to centre half forward. Pack of players have formed. Umpire Cameron Duthie's coming. He's going to have a bounce down right on the edge of the uh, centre square for the Werribee Central side. Yes, Ron, we saw Greg Hart come streaming in from the wing they're knocking it forward for the uh, the centrals but uh, unable of course to get it too far forward before the pack developed the bounce down it comes a little kick out of the pack here from peter cone kicks the ball towards half four for the amateurs no one able to take a clean possession here oh player tackled high should have got a free kick for the amateurs there might have can't pick him up goal goes back into the center we'll go on with the game now as running onto the footy is chris Cicino. dummies back with the hand pass it's a good one gives it back to barando barando of the centrals goes over the top and a nice mark is taken by his teammate Plays on immediately. They're way on the far flank. Kick it in towards centre half forward. The target up and can't mark Greg Hart. And the umpires paid the mark to the defender. Yeah. He took a good one, Ron. Brad Thompson it was at centre half back. Goes to the outer side. Looks for a teammate out there as well. And I think he'll find he's found his teammate there. And Gill plays on quickly. Looks to centre half forward. But chipping in for the Werribee Central side. Taking a nice strong mark. Kevin Keogh. Keogh goes away towards the centre wing. Grandstand oh. side of the ground. We've seen a very strong mark taken here by an amateur's player. And caught and it, a bit of treatment too. And he certainly you? earned it. And it was a good mark by Brad Thompson. His second good mark in a couple of minutes. And Thompson with the, with the right knee heavily strapped on and the thigh pants on. Might be as fit as he could be. Kicks the ball towards centre half forward. The defenders fly and punch it away. Hand pass from Finlay comes out wide. Was intercepted nicely. Goes out over the top. Oh, well played by the player there getting around in uh, the was uh, David Jones. He owns a few shops. Kicks the ball out towards the half forward flank. No one able to claim clean position. Possession. They can now, game. though, the amateurs. Pick it up. Bounce. Bang on the right foot. Long kick towards the goal. It's way off line. It's one point Sh only, Ron. Schwarzer. Schwarzer it was. Yeah, Paul Middleton, known as Schwarzer to his close friends, is well off line on that occasion. Had plenty of time to settle too. Cookie should have made full advantage of that. I agree with you, Ron. He was under no pressure at all. Had the steady bounce. Might have had two. Straightened up on the right foot, but drifted the ball towards the left-hand side of the goal mouth. And the first score is on the board of the amateurs. One point only. Fullback now brings the ball into play. Big, tall fella, too, he is. Comes out to the member's side of the ground, the back of the pack. Tried to claim the mark, too, as Peter Brown. The pie man, he's called. No, couldn't take the mark. Quick kick out of the pack. Oh, good football again from the centre-half back in Bradley Thompson. Couldn't trap it sweetly. Good support, though, there for the amateur side was Danny Wilson. Cop one a bit high up by his whistle. Sounded. And I think you'll find that uh, Nick McKellar, the wrecker, has got an opportunity to put the amateur boys into attack. Yes, uh, the player there, Nicky Gill, was off with it, but he had to come back, and the wrecker spears a pass in a good one too, and Danny Wilson takes the mark, and one a bit high at half forward flank. Lovely kick into the corridor. It's high, though. It's floating. Up they go. No one able to take a mark down there. In there battling hard was Peter Nash. He couldn't get the ball clear. There's been a kick in towards the goal. Well, Unsworth, it was. Through. I think Unsworth <laughs> might have bumped it. Yes, it's bounced through. Fabulous First goal Phil. on the board to fabulous Phil Unsworth, and the, the amateurs have surprised the Centrals with their early dash run. They certainly have draw first blood here this afternoon at this very picturesque Queen's Park Oval, known as uh, the Stinton Oval here this afternoon, Cookie, as we see that the Apco Easy Shop first quarter scoreboard, and of course, we must not forget the Commerfoon Hotel at East Geelong, uh, supporting the commentary here this afternoon, uh, Amateurs 117. Werribee Central's yet to score. Right back to the centre on umpire. About to bounce this one down. Just waiting on the players to settle. He puts it down now. Up they go. Oh, the Central's won the hit out, but it went straight there to Nicky Gill, the rover. He kicks it back towards the centre of the ground. Going up and almost taking the mark there was uh, Cicino. He couldn't quite handle that one when he should have. Paul pushes out wide. The player's running on it. It's almost into the attacking zone. Slapped on nicely there by the central yeah, player. Simon Ballon. Ballon it was. It goes to half back. The the uh, the Amateurs will get out of this. A little kick goes out wide. And Danny Wilson, who's been lively, he takes the mark, kicks the ball around the flank, 
Mark Schwab by Middleton. Up. Paid the hand pass, and away he goes. Gives it across to Cone. Cone kicks the ball into the corridor. Up they go. Good defensive work, actually, by the Amateurs. Oh! Slapped it away. Brady says it's a free kick. The umpire said, you're up there to commentate. I'm here, and I'll bounce the ball. Oh. Two and a half forward position. Pies. The Amateurs doing all the attacking. Pies Brown really desperate there. Lunged at the ball, I think, with the right arm. Umpire puts ball to ground, comes out loose. Now we see Danny Wilson trap it sweetly for the Abbott's side. It's an up and under, as Barry Walker would call it. Comes to ground. Oh, that'll be tied. This bloke, Terry Fulton, wearing the 65 Guernsey, picked it up sweetly on the left foot, shot at goal, but he's offline. And I think you'll find it's off hands and out of bounds. In the forward pocket, member side of Queen's Park, who are kicking to the heightened end of the ground. Very high number to carry that around. Terry Fulton, 65. He'd be tied before he ran out the ground. Boundary throw in forward pocket. It slipped to the turf. No one able to gain clean possession. Little kick comes out, but it's not a... Yes, it is a good one. It finds a teammate here. And away goes Roland Beck for the uh, for the central side. Kicks the ball towards centre. A half-back flank. Paul Fields up and can't mark for the centrals. They stack in on top, but it's very close to the boundary line down here, Ron. The umpire's going to ball it up before it actually goes over the line and out of bounds. Good desperate footy. Paul Field working very hard for the Werribee Central side wearing the 15 Guernsey. Um, bah. Cameron Duthie puts ball to ground. The big men fly for that guest video pie. Oh, oh copping one a little high there was the Werribee Central's half-back flanker. But he's cool on the crisis was Paul Field. Breaks the tackle, then lost his footing and the football. As we see the amateurs now drive it up the half forward. And coming in late there was good football too. Cookie from the amateur player. Forcing it over the line and out of bounds. Yes, the amateur forwards playing well as defenders also, Ron. We said a couple of good fists when they can't mark, they go on the fist. That kick from Peter Cohn wasn't particularly good, but his forward was able to steady, think about it, and bang it over the line, a boundary show in occurs. Up they go on the big foot up there. McCallum might have won the hit down there for the amateurs, but it spills free. Oh, player tackled high here for mine for the centrals. Not paid. Play on the call and Cohn picks it up for the amateurs. They're showing plenty of life. Kicks in towards half forward. Up they go. No one takes a mark. It's Spills down to the ground. Picked up here by Cicino. Gives a hand pass to a teammate running past. Back through the centre they come. And running onto the football here. And going nicely down the ground. 23 was it. Kevin right? Keogh it was. It was. It was. Oh, good football here. Loose man created. Hand pass comes to Stevie Hammond. Shoots a goal from 30 metres. But Cookie, you wouldn't believe it. He's made a mull of it. Not a good particularly kick at all, and a particularly good kick is what I'm trying to say there from uh, the player there in Hammond. He's a forward. He should have done better than that, Ron. Certainly from 30 metres. Plenty of time to steady as we see now the full back. Bring it in there for the uh, amateur side. Nick McCalla goes straight up the centre to picking up with that famous number eight, Guernsey and Andrew Richardson. Ruxton hand passes to Richardson again. Good football. Back it comes to the centre of the ground where we see working hard Lenny Unsworth. Oh, holding Tried the ball for mine, on. holding the yes, ball for mine, Ron. Yes, Johnny Tatnell not prepared to make a decision and he said, I'll have the ball back, fellas, have a bounce. Could have paid a kick there, Cookie. Didn't think Peter Nash did enough to get that out. Bounce down, up they go. It's back to it, just on the attacking side of the centre of the ground for the amateurs. A little hand pass comes out in the direction of Paul Field. Kicks the ball for the uh, centrals up towards the forward line. No one able to take a mark. And in front was Ballon and couldn't mark. Players dive in on top of it. Ooh, a bit of a hip and shoulder. We'd like to see those come into the game. Coming out of the football now is Cicino. Can't get around the players. It's outside the attacking 50 for the Werribee Centrals. And we'll have a ball up the far side of the ground. It's one goal, one seven to one behind. And the amateurs are surprising us there in front. Yes, they certainly are, Cookie. Eight and a half minutes have gone in the first term as we see Werribee Centrals now. Opportunity with a very smooth left foot pass the centre half forward. Looking there for his teammate too in uh, Greg Hart. But in front, Brad Thompson doing well early stages at centre half back. Takes the kick, takes the mark, does it nicely too. Finds his teammate running free on centre wing, and that's Peter Brown. Peter Brown for the, uh, the big pardon. It's Paul Middleton. Kicks the ball down the ground. Hand pass comes back here for the amateurs. Comes out wide, and Middleton's kept running. Well played, Middleton. A little kick on the right foot goes, spills into the forward zone. They all overrun it. Player balks on the right foot, balks on the left foot, Ooh. kicks. Flatten out for kick, Ronnie. Should be a free kick. Well, not paid. Philip Unsworth should be on the stage, Cookie, because the contact was barely made, but he made it look a lot worse. I thought and it looked very good oh, to oh, me. Oh, oh. Not paid, though, and the kick comes out of the fence. Out the woods, half back here for the centrals. They slap it towards the boundary line. It's kept in play, actually. Well, wait on the umpire's decision here. The boundary umpire's going to have the final call, and he's going to call for a ball in half forward plate with the amateurs in attack. 
Nine and a half minutes of travel of this first quarter here at Queen's Park. The Stinton Oval here and a very picturesque setting. Jump in your car and come down. Watch the action. A lot of entertainment here this afternoon as we see the big men fly again. Dump the ball forward. The big ruckman for the amateur's side. And I think you'll find over the top was Peter Cohn, was it, Cookie, then? OK, well, he's, na he's tapped at 25 metres towards amateur goal. He's been in everything so far. Ice cream, hasn't he? Boundary throw in. Up they go. Amateurs win this one. Little knockdown went towards the play. They couldn't get the foot to the ball, and the centrals are able to relieve him with a long kick. It's built over the top of the pack, running onto the footy. Here's a chance for Greg Hart. Can he pick it up? He can. Has to turn on the left foot, kicks it out wide. Oh, lovely kick and a good mark taken by his teammate who's running onto the footy in Darren Finlay. He'll play on. He always likes to. He gives a hand pass across. It's a good one. Gives it to Roland Beck, and the wingman kicks the ball towards the forward zone. No one able to take a mark. Bursting out of the pack with a bit of pace is Ballins. Ballins was smothered there as he went to go for it. The hand pass. Oh, they're fighting over it. They're <laughs> fighting over it. Who wants it? No one able to grab hold of this footy. Slapped out wide. Chance here running onto the footy for Cone. He's in the van. Ooh. Oh, ooh, big hip and shoulder going in there was Cunningham. Gets the ball across towards the middle. Gathered there by Cecino. And a bit of sure ball handling will help here as Cecino gets it to half forward. Player tackled as he was about to kick. Oh, one too, too high for mine. Umpire. Too high. Oh, he's played the trip. Oh, he's paid You said trip. too long. I said too high. Well, he's signified the ankle, Ronnie, and the free kick is going to go to Mickey. Howard of the Centrals, and what an interesting decision. Could be a, a long distant relation of Johnny Tatnell, the umpire for mine, was caught with the footy and now Mick Howard, though, opportunity to drive the Centrals into attack. The kick is shocker. Looks up there for the lead of Delaney. Can't find him. The bouncing ball won't sit for either player. Now, opportunity Paul Robinson wraps on the big bazza because he looks like Barry Stardom too for mine, the red-headed centre-half back, but unfortunately for him he lost the footy where he'll be Central's Retain it through Darren Finlay at centre half back. Darren Finlay, the dashing centreman, he's short of centre half forward. Ron, he's not a long kick, he's going to go the short one. Lovely kick by Finlay. Just steadied and took his time and kicked it out to half forward. And he's found his teammate out there with a big knee bandage. And we'll pick him up in a minute. Paul checking Michael Woolhand too from the amateur's side. And uh, I think you'll find it's an opportunity here with uh, Paul Fields. Field it might be. Kicks it from inside 50. Puts it right in the goal square. Oh, oh good mark. defensive mark. Good defensive mark. Going back, taking this one. Might that be Hulahan. 29 Goons it is. Mick McCullough and our McCullough. producer, Noel Fanning, would be pleased with that. War 29 for many years as we see the McCullough's kick. Brings it to the members' side. Can't find a teammate. And we'll see a bounty throw in some 60 metres from the Werribee Central goal. <laughs> Bernardo beaten on that occasion. Good work, McCullough. Got it down to his teammate coming through. There was Houlihan. Has an opportunity for Schwarzer. Paul Middleton drills the ball long to centre-half forward. The lead is on. Overrunning the football. I think you'll find could have been Hillebrand. Can't trap it. Werribee Central's now. Clear the ball there at half-back. Lovely football too for the agency of Matt Foot and find his teammate at half-forward. Kicks in towards half-foot. It was a particularly good kick, Ron, because the Central's defender standing there on his own is able to take the mark. Kicks towards the centre of the ground. Up goes the player there, unable to take a mark. Hand pass comes across. It's intercepted by the Central's and away they go through Roland Beck who kicks the ball towards half forward. Mick Howard! Picked up by Howard. He's had a flying shot on the left foot. He's way off line. Wasn't a particularly good kick again. Kicks and like one, a big man, Cookie. One point only on the board, Ron. Pretty ordinary. And, uh, well, maybe Mick could probably just steady a little better with that loping left foot of his as we see that the Apco Easy Shops in and around Geelong scoreboard this first quarter in conjunction with the Comna Fiend Show where he settles two points. Amateurs 117. The ball's gone out towards half back and a chance for Anthony Middleton here of the uh, of the Amateurs to run on it. Does well too. Kicks the ball oh, towards nice half. Oh, lovely mark taken. Short of half forward by his teammate. He won't turn around and give us a look it's at him. It's an Unsworth. It's got to be. It's an Unsworth, said Ronnie. And Unsworth bangs the ball towards the forward pocket. No one over the mark. A hand pass over the top will be a good one if this player can get his foot in the ball. Swings it back along with the right foot. I think it's one point only, Ron. It is just offline. Good build up, and you wouldn't believe it. Cookie, the accurate one has done it again. Wearing the right elbow heavily strapped with that black tape was the number 18, Gersey Lenny Unsworth, who took that lovely mark at half forward. One point only on the board there to the amateurs and 
Ronnie Brain says that's one to me. The kick comes in from fullback. He's favoured the outer side of the ground here, and he's found his teammate. If he's inside the boundary line, it's Cunningham, and he takes the mark for the centrals, swings the ball back towards the centre of the play a little bit, and he's found a teammate there taking a the mark. Stevie Hammond, it is at half back, outer side of uh, Stinton Oval here at Queen's Park. Good footballer, centre half back, fires Pies Brown. Brown now looks to centre half foot, all one hard. One-handed attempt by Barry Delaney wasn't successful, and this has allowed the amateur boys to break clear. Peter oh. Cohn it is. Ice Cream goes short. Couldn't find his teammate there in David Jones. He's lost the plot, Jonesy. Too much money on it, Cookie, as we see his teammate chip in now and find uh, Hildebrand. Hildebrand kicks the ball across, but Peter Brown chips in, takes a nice mark there for the centrals, plays the ball out towards the wide centre wing, needs a teammate, he's got one, wants to play on immediately, good play, kicks the ball down the ground, and Hammond, the little fella, takes the mark, spears it in the woods, half forward, up in front, Fordham couldn't take the mark, hair pass comes over the top, here's a chance for the centrals to come forward, a little kick comes into Delaney, and Delaney marks the ball inside 50, Ronnie's got a kick from 48 metres out, and he's directly in front. Makes a big difference, Cookie, when you take two hands at the football. This time Barry Delaney did that. He's taken the mark at centre half forward. 45 metres from goal. The left foot drop punt goes to the right of the big sticks. Didn't quite make the distance. Good defensive football there from McCalla. Likewise the big fella Paul Robertson sees it over the line and through for a minus score. One behind on the board there. Just didn't make the distance there Delaney. His only little fellow just didn't quite get enough Oof into the footy, and we're waiting on the ball to come back into play. The short one is on. The kick is just too high. Oh, the player did a good job to take that mark, Ron. Middleton again. Schwartz are doing a great job for the Geelong Amateurs. Early stages goes wide, members side winger, and finds uh, the ever-elusive Nick Gill. Uh, kicks the ball back to the corridor. Looks in front. Oh, it's centre half forward. Taking a great mark for mine. Uh, yeah, Ben Reynolds. Uh, takes a fine grab and... Uh, there was the some doubt about him playing too, Ben Reynolds. Knocked out last week, but he's taken that mark well. Plays it immediately to Brad Thompson, who takes the mark forward flank. Gives it across to his teammate Wilson, who's running. And Danny Wilson flies the ball across the woods, the centre of the goal mouth. That's a lovely kick. Out there, giving his teammate a chance. Running on with Lenny Mikey Richardson, is it? Lenny uh, Unsworth. Unsworth it was. It's rubbed away from him. At the woods, Finlay of the, uh, of the centrals. He can't quite handle it. Slaps it out wide. Running back onto the football... Ooh, good play there too. Tapping the ball in front of him. An, an amateur's player there picks up Cash to kick with the right foot in a hurry. It's an up and under and backing back and taking a good mark. Ronnie might be Peter Brown, is it? Yeah, great use of the body too. Peter Pies Brown, but he's kick a poor one. Allows Brad Thompson to use some strong work. Does so well too. Gets a quick hand pass out to a teammate there. And I think you'll find that was concussion. I should say Reynolds. As we see now, the ball still with amateurs. Opportunity now, Phil Unsworth. The hand pass put his teammate under all sorts of pressure in Peter Ice Cream Cone, and I think you'll find that where his Central's boys can clear. They can through Hart, who gives it across with a by foot to his teammate Delaney. Delaney goes towards centre wing, buttering up in front here, playing well. Paul Middleton's had a good game, loves the ball in front of him towards half forward. Central's are a chance to relieve him. They can kick quickly on the left foot. They do so, and a player got a yard, got a paddock. He's got half a paddock in front of him at least. That's Steve Hammond. Picks it up, fires at the goal mouth with the right foot. Yeah. I tell you what, Ronnie, it's a beauty. Hammond's kicked the lovely goal on 3 WIR football for season 93. This is a double hour guest video for the Geelong District Football League for the 93 season. Well, Cook at the Apco Easy Shop uh, first quarter scoreboard, and of course, in conjunction with Comna Foon Hotel down there at East Geelong, shows now the Werribee Central's boys a little bit more respectability. They're 139. Amateurs 1, 2, 8. And uh, we've been travelling 18 and a half minutes of this first quarter. Paddy Boyd was by Rocky's 24-hour locksmith out there at Carayo Village. Yes, good afternoon to the customers there at the Com de Foon. We had lunch there yesterday, Ron. Beautiful lunch. Neville Hempton packing his bags to go to Warnable. He'll be tickled pick about that. He loves it down there. Back to the centre. Up they go. The centrals are going to get it out of the middle here through a hand pass. Running onto the football here, doing well as Beck. And Beck kicks the ball towards the forward pocket. Good Moved by the Centrals. Very sure ball handling. Coming out. Chris Fordham, your mate's come out and taken the mark in the left forward pocket, and he's a chance to kick this, carrying just a touch of weight, Ronald. Yes, sir. Fatty is his name by his coach. Opportunity here. Fatty this time has uh, laid onto a lovely drop punt, but is offline, uh, is Chris Fatty Fordham. 
and a minor score. So scores are now level, Ron, in the first quarter of the game here at the Amateurs Oval. Certainly, David, and uh, well, players both sides working hard. Seeing now fullback Paul Robertson go short, find a teammate in the pocket. Good football to there, Nicky Gill. Kicks back to the corridor at centre half back. All Werribee Central's players. Alice slipped at the crucial time. Good support, Kevin Keogh on the left foot. Good football. Finds a teammate and sent half forward in ball field. Hands off with a lovely hand pass to the running Greg Hart. Shoots from 30 metres. And I think you'll find he's pop it through. Well, they're looking ominous now. Lovely goal, that one. The last two goals have been very good. And the Apco Easy shot in and around Geelong scoreboard. scoreboard. <laughs> we'll pick that one up in a minute. They're just putting it up on the board. We've been into the punch there, Ronnie. I think it's two goals instead of ten. Cookies, I think it's it? two goals for 16, yes. I think the, uh, well. the centrals have got that on the board now. And they've looked impressive in the last few minutes, Ron. They moved they, the ball very swiftly out of the centre. They certainly did, David. And that good set-up, Kevin Keogh, half-back with the left foot. Good vision was... You know, had the, uh, the common sense to steady, look up on the half forward with a loose man there, found him, and it was polished off with some good teamwork. Back to the centre run, up they go, balls knocked towards the Amateur's half forward line, no one able to claim clean possession there, they stack in on top, but players trying pretty hard here, a little kick comes out here, might have been Danny Wilson, gets the ball down towards half forward, lovely mark taken down there, in defence for the centrals, and this is Damien Ballon relieving the pressure from half back, well, he spears it across the centre half back, and he's found his teammate in Delaney, and Barry Delaney comes away with a left foot kick to centre wing, lovely pass, mark taken, and they're running well now, the centre aren't they, Ronnie? As the Certainly. kick comes down the ground from Beck, who's kept coming, kicks towards half forward. Player slaps it out in front of him. Wasn't particularly good. It lands with the uh, uh, hula hand. Gets a hand pass across to a teammate coming down the ground in Ryan. Ryan finds his teammate who's streaming down the ground oh, here oh, in ice Cone. Cream. Co scream. Cone lines him up. Bang, bang, bang. It's just into the goal square. Offline, one point only. And hasn't he been a lovely player in this first quarter? Peter Cone, the ice cream at half forward flank. Yes, certainly. And I'll tell you what's taking a lot of licking there, too for the amateur side because creating a lot of opportunities here this afternoon. Unfortunately, didn't steady quite enough, Cookie, to finish that great work off and split the big posts here this afternoon, but uh, still a minor score. Well, he was a long way out, Ron, and the kick wasn't too bad. The kick in from fullback has been marked by Rick Gavin at the uh, half-back flank. Kicks the ball around here. Target was Finlay. It thumped away from him. Picking it up was Beck doing well for them, but the kick isn't particularly good. Gill intercepts, and Gill of the amateur spears the ball in a half forward. Ooh, Oof. pretty tough. And that pack, I'm glad we're up here. Thumped over the top towards the band them. Streaming out of defence was Nash thumping the ball towards the band them. Good play, Nash. And he's found his teammate out there in Brown running free. Yes, Pies Brown now steady. He's cool in the crisis. Looks to Steve Hammond out there on out of sight, half forward. The Dasher screws the ball back, but he didn't screw it far enough because Andrew Ruxton Robertson takes a fine good mark at half back. Plays on. Oh, the kick from Richardson, a poor one. As uh, I tell you what, the turnovers have been quite prevalent here this afternoon. A lot of mistakes. Opportunity now. We see the big fella in Fordham put it quickly to the teeth of goal. Greg Hart's got selfish it. Selfish foot ball and a nice mark taken Greg Hart. Kick one a moment ago 22 minutes have gone in the first term would be a monitor to kick this would like to be as sure as winning touch lot out tonight, Ron. He's two and a half metres out of his lucky. Bang, left foot goal. Hard kicks his second. And you're on 100.3 FM. Judy FL football for season 93 on 3 double IR. Easy Shop uh... First quarter scoreboard now moves the Werribee Central side to 3 4 22. They're leading the Geelong Amateur side 1 3 9. Apco Easy Shops in and around Geelong, North Geelong. Newcomb, East Geelong and Bowen Heads. And don't forget the Com the Fiend Hotel, Ronnie. Wasn't it lovely down in that happy bit of Lunchester? And I said to Neville Hampton, I said, gee, you're busy today. He was running around. He said, we're all standing around with nothing to do. I thought they were pretty busy. <laughs> Must be a pretty good pub when it's going, Ron, I can tell you. I'm sure. Back to the centre, umpire Tatnell bounces it over the top. We see Cone, a little jump high. No, it was Middleton. Couldn't get the ball to a teammate. Comes to ground, kicked off the carpet. Opportunity now for the amateur side if he can pick it up as Hulan Kicks it off the carpet, but oh, he's kicked it straight down the throat there of Dennis Gunningham. Oh, he was uh, well dispossessed of the footy. And on the full run, I think you'll find out there. Well, swung as he kicked, Cookie. Yes. Good, push, good pressure good, footy. Good amateur. pressure. Because it all counts these days. You've got to put the pressure on all the time. And it might be Houlihan. Is it taking the free kick for the amateurs? Kick 
on the right foot. Lovely drop punt, two to the centre half foot. Oh, the high flyer was, I think you'll find, Cone couldn't take it. No, it wasn't. Comes to ground opportunity now. Reynolds, curl in the crisis. The drop punt right across ground. Looks to open some space for the dashes. And speaking of that, we see working hard. There was uh, young Mark Hildebrand for the Geelong Amateurs side. But good pressure where he central sees it. Over the line and out of bounds, half forward flank. Members side here of Stinton Oval at Queen's Park. Yes, Kevin Keogh was the man there for the Central, saving the day with a big fist towards the boundary line. And the boundary umpire is going to put it back into play there, half foot. Umpire spam one in the ruck duels here, Ronnie. And I think it might be going to the amateurs. We'll just wait and see on this one. This might be Finn. No, I'm just waiting to see who this is going to take the free kick. He's just gone behind us here. A little hard to see. Now the ball's come back, and it's Reynolds. Concussion. Has got the ball, right forward pocket, a fair way out though, I can tell you. Puts the ball on the right foot, floats it across Lovely. the goal mouth. Lovely kick, it's deep into the forward pocket, but it's beaten all players. Over the top of the pack, he kicked it that well, and it's bounced over the line out of bounds for a boundary throw in, I think, right next to the behind post. It's on the full, that's how far it went, Ronnie. It was a big kick from Reynolds. Well, and so they should be kicking the ball long, David, and to date, players having a little trouble with the footy, for mine, shouldn't be perfect conditions here, no breeze at all and they've just got to concentrate a little harder, the players. And uh, speaking of that, Werribee Central's half-back dropped uh, a soda for mine on the outer side of the ground, and uh, the umpire said, we'll throw it in some 70 metres from the umpire goal, or the big men fly. Standing his ground there was McKellar. Got it down a gill, goes short to centre-half forward and finds Middleton, and Schwarzer Paul finds... Uh, an opportunity now to drive the amateur boys into attack. Kicks to the pocket. The lead was on. Couldn't take the football there was number 65, Fulton, as the Werribee Central side rally in defence as they do, David, and clear it sweetly. Yes, they're able to run it out well, Ron. Almost a mark there to the Central's. Not paid. Hand pass comes to Finlay. Gives it back to running to Matt. Little kick in a half foot will be good to Hammond. Hammond marks. He's just inside 50. Plays on. Blazes away with the right foot from the angle. Oh, just didn't make the distance, Ronnie. And the and the amateurs are able to go back and take a mark right in the teeth of uh, de uh, defence. Johnny, Johnny Longsleeve Ryan, it was. Good football to to Danny Wilson, who races through half back, kicks to half forward. The race is on. Opportunity now for Mark Hildebrand. Can he pick it up? He can't. Well, Colin there, where are his centrals? Kevin Keogh, I think you'll find uh, with the long sleeve Guernsey on. Uh, did some fine work there. And uh, we'll see a bounce down. Certainly will, wing. Ron. Back to that that mark in the goal square. Ryan looked through for all money. Ryan somehow got back there to, to save the day for the amateurs. Hand pass from Peter Cohn's been lively. Comes out wide towards centre half forward now. Umpire's going to pay a free kick here for holding. Now he's called the advantage play on the call. It's Paul Field who didn't really have the advantage. Grabs it. Kicks the ball towards half forward. Looking for a teammate out here in Barry Delaney. He takes the mark with the long sleeves on. Wide on the centre wing. Spears the pass back in towards the centre of the ground. Up goes Steve Hammond. Takes the mark. There's still two kicks away from goal. Other centrals moving the ball sweetly now. Little pass comes in. Bad marking going up. Taking a good mark is Greg Hart, who's been a pretty handy player in the forward line for the centrals in the first quarter. Yes, certainly, David. Kicked two goals and uh, quite stylish on the left foot. Looks there for a lead of his teammate who flew high. Couldn't take the ball cleanly, though, was Jamie Ellis. Comes to ground. Buttering up well there, though, for the Werribee Central side. I think you'll find was Giugino. He's short, chipped a centre half forward. A good one and finds Barry Delaney. Wearing also. So the long sleeve Guernsey here this afternoon. Yes, he's been a bit, a bit of a will of the wisp on the forward line. He tried the, tried the torpedo. He tumbled it into the goal square. No one able to claim clean possession. A little hand pass comes across. They can get out of this. Uh, can the amateurs away to the half back flank? And this player's playing well, taking the mark as Wilson. Ron, he's doing a good job for the amateurs on the centre wing position. Yes, certainly doing very well. His opponent though in uh, number 25. Hart has kicked two, but he's had a lot of possessions. Drilled the ball to centre wing. Nice mark from Reynolds. Throws off with a quick hand pass to the dasher. Paul Schwartz of Middleton goes to the centre half forward position. Looks for Thornton. Couldn't take it. Picked up at the back of the pack. Good defensive football from Ballon. That was Damien. Looks out there for his teammate in Simon. Bit of brotherly love there, Cookie. Can't trap it. Umpires whistle. Free kick. Free kick. Held without the football. I think you'll find uh, was uh, Simon Ballon and gets the free kick for the Werribee Central. So. No doubt about it, Ron. And there's no doubt about this. I've heard the siren today correctly. It is quarter time here at the... Uh, the Oval, the which we're broadcasting at. That's the Queen's Park Oval, Ron. No, the Stinton Oval, Cookie. Stinton Oval. 
I think I think a great man in Stitton Avenue, actually. But it's a four, a three goals for 22 on the board, playing one goal, three, nine. And the amateurs who started will just weren't able to keep up the pressure in the last 15 minutes of that quarter run. Certainly, David. It came back to the uh, running players for mine. They were able, we'll be sentries, to uh, just set up that loose man.